In this tutorial, we'll just upgrade our bobbing cubes in here and make them look more like boats, or at least act more like a boat than these do, because these are just sitting flat. And so the effect is pretty nice in general for starters, but we want them to be a little more realistic. And this is really simple. And this is mostly an intermediate tutorial, so, because I don't tell you each and every step along the way. I, I expect at this point that you've gone through most of my beginning tutorials, which there are quite a few of, and so you should be able to just follow along. All right, so then here I'll just take this same cube and I'm going to I'm going to basically clear the parent like that and then I'm going to go shift and grab this object again as if I was going to parent to it once again. Um, now I'm going to still vertex parent, but I'm going to go into edit mode like before, but instead of just selecting a single vertex, you also have the option of selecting three vertices. Oh, yes. So I'll select these three vertices. You can just pick whatever ones you want and then I'm going to parent it like usual, but it says it's also still making a vertex parent, but it's actually parenting to all three. So now, when we go back into animation mode, when it comes back around, we'll make it come around like this. Now when the wave hits it, now you can see the angle is changing as it goes. And it's mostly, well, based on the where the wind is, it's mostly rolling in the one direction. Let's see if we can go get another wind. We'll add this over here. I'll make that its own object like this. And I'll rotate that a little bit on Z. So it's pointing. So now we should have some wind coming from this direction. Let's see. Let's give him a little more force. See what happens when that comes around. Yep, you can see it's coming from both directions. And now that's that's actually moving. That's a little out of control. But that's more like a wave would work anyway. You'd have waves coming from different directions and colliding with each other, creating giant swells, rogue waves, things of that nature. Okay, so then if you wanted to, you know, to really amplify the effect, you know, if you're making your boat, if you want to spend some time making a cool boat, because uh, some people love to model, whatever. I love to do animations more than anything, more than modeling, more than creating the final scenes. I just like animations. So uh, my imagination lets me run wild. And to me, this is a boat in the ocean, <laughs> even though it doesn't look like it. It's green and all that kind of stuff. All right, so I'll, we'll change it a little bit. So maybe it looks a little bit more. I'm going to change this to green just to have some contrast in the scene like that. That kind of helps bring this boat out like that boat boat it's a cube right all right s while I'll, I'll scale it a little bit like this we'll just uh let me see okay yeah let's just where is this thing we'll get a multi-resolution subdivision going okay like that and apply it all right there it looks a little bit more like a boat no not really all right and so then I'm going to come up here and maybe I'll grab this face, face select mode here. I'll just subdivide that face. And then I'll grab that. And then I'm going to extrude that in the Z direction. And that'll be the mast. Okay. And then I'll put it down in the water just a little bit more. So now the effect should be amplified slightly as the wave moves in the wind perspective colors everything really comes into play like this alright let's see what happens and there it is so there's our the mass and then you can really see the effect like that alright well I just want to point that out because that really makes a huge difference though sometimes maybe you just want to you know for whatever simulation you might be making it might not be an ocean wave maybe you want it to stay level you know or whatever but there's our boat and you can see it bouncing sideways. All right, well, that's it for this lesson, and I'll see you in the next lesson.